Hello year one and welcome to Wednesday the 3rd of February and it is your reading skills lesson. Now at the end of the last lesson I asked you to think of some adjectives to describe the ladybird. Okay, so you can see the ladybird there. I'll give you one more minute, pause the video, have a little chat. What adjectives can you come up with? You might even come up with sentences to describe that beautiful ladybug. OK, excellent team. So hopefully you've managed to come up with some ideas of some adjectives or some phrases or sentences that you would use to describe that ladybird or ladybug. OK, so you might describe its beautiful red shell. OK, it's got kind of a shell on its back, hasn't it? Because it protects its wings and that's where the wings come out of. You might describe it's got some small white specks on its back and its head. It's got some beautiful black spots all over its back. It's got tiny legs, hasn't it? And it's got teeny antennas on its head. What else did you guys describe about that ladybird? I'm sure you guys came up with some beautiful, beautiful ideas. So today we're going to be focusing on our reading skill prediction. So this poem is called Ladybird, Ladybird. Now I'm going to read it to you, but there are some blanks. And I want you to see if you can predict the vocabulary that is used to fill in those blanks. Some of them are a bit obvious. Some of them are a little bit trickier. The first one is quite tricky, okay? Because it's kind of spelt the same or a similar way, but I don't think it rhymes, okay? Let's read it then. Ladybird, ladybird, fly away home. Night is approaching and sunset is... The herons are flown to their trees by the hall. Felt but unseen, the damp dew drops. Something that rhymes with hall will go in there. This is the close of a still summer day. Ladybird, ladybird, haste, fly. Something that rhymes with day will go in here. What are your predictions? Well, I think this one, quite obvious, dew drops, something that rhymes with hall. And summer day, fly, something that rhymes with day. This one's a little bit trickier. Like I said, it's got a similar spelling, but I don't think it rhymes at all. And remember, that's OK. Poems don't have to rhyme, did they? I think they sound fantastic if they rhyme, but there are also some beautiful poems that don't rhyme at all, and that is still OK. Right, now I filled in the gaps. Let's see if any of your predictions were OK. Ladybird, ladybird, fly away home. Night is approaching and sunset is come. OK, now remember, I said to you, they don't rhyme, do they? No, but they kind of look the same. The herons, what's a heron? Excellent, it's a type of bird. The herons are flown to their trees by the hall, felt but unseen, the damp dewdrops fall. Did you get that one right? Hall and fall. Excellent. This is the close of a still summer day. Ladybird, ladybird, haste, fly away. Perfect, another important piece of vocabulary there. What does the word haste mean? Uh, if, if they're saying haste, fly away. Good, it means quickly. That's what haste means. It means do it quickly. Quickly fly away. OK, we have lots and lots of exclamation marks in here, don't we? Ladybird, ladybird. The poem is called Ladybird, ladybird. And again, repetition is also quite important in poetry. Ladybird, ladybird again. So. How did the author illustrate the bug without using any pictures? OK. So we know that the author is talking about a ladybird, don't we? Because of the title Ladybird, Ladybird and the repetition throughout. So without having to kind of paint a picture, or use any pictures, we know in our head that this poem is about a ladybird. And in our heads, we're probably pitching, picturing, sorry, a ladybird, aren't we? Okay. So that is how the author illustrates the bug without using any pictures. And what happens to the bug? Okay. What do you think happens to the ladybug? Excellent. So I, I think you're right. I think the ladybug does fly away and it's trying to get away from the kind of weather that is changing. Okay, because it says, felt but unseen, the damp dewdrops fall. So dewdrops 
you might notice sometimes when you go out in the morning, the grass is kind of wet, even though it might not have rained, the grass is kind of wet. That's called dew. OK, even though it's a d at the start, it's a dew. We say j. OK, so dew drops full. So I think it's trying to escape the weather. OK, excellent. Tomorrow is going to be Thursday and we're going to look at another poem about an elephant. OK, and we're going to do a little bit of predicting and a little bit of vocabulary as well. See you tomorrow.